Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Prioritize it very much, D plus one for the Grubs. They ended up getting two to one there. But now that we see the jungler topside, yes, Doran lost his flash, had to use his ultimate, but it means you get a guaranteed it's up trade big way for D plus. So, you know, if you're a D plus fan, don't panic just yet. Yes, it's a significant lead. Yes, this top turret did go down. It's actually first turret. They also uh, sacrifice where they need to be sacrificing. They understand that they're the composition that doesn't have the pressure on them to get things moving in the early stages. And it's good for D-plus to be able to get themselves this dragon. Absolutely fantastic. Ocean is going to be the uh, the soul that comes in. Even more brushes. We've got more knife. And we're going to need a fair bit of that uh, here on this rift if, uh, if Peanut has anything to say about it. Yeah. You know, um, when they... Okay, King and... Um, he is walking the wrong direction. Yeah. Daisy's going to come up. There's an all-out to interrupt the hop. And this could just be first blood right here. And there it is. It's Doran that locks it out. And his flash, by the way, was back up and available. This guy's used it already a couple of times. Really? Have too many options when has, Viper has cleanse. Exactly. He has cleanse. He doesn't care. Now, Showmaker's just going to get caught. I've seen this movie before. It, in fact, just happened. Magnus Storm going to come on through. That is going to be the Emperor's Divide. But Zek is going to turn up, and Showmaker realizes that he's being checkmated. How do a Lifer just run in circles around D plus this game? It's insane. Lucid looking for this, but guess what? He's got that cleanse. Is not a bad cleanse. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's exactly what you were saying, though, just moments before. Viper just doesn't care about your Sejuani engage. You've got a He doesn't have it just yet, but it's his first death of the game. Two kills here for Hanwha, not even in the team fights yet. You know, we haven't even seen <laughs> the oppressive pushes yet. <laughs> And Delight able to just walk up and press Hex Flash, which is uh, just pretty crazy. Peanut goes down to about 50%. As D Plus still trying to find some angles here. Daisy getting amongst a good handshake there onto Delight, who's taking a lot of damage. Aiming has some really good guns for this moment. Peanut gonna get taken down low. Showmaker with the flash doesn't actually press the ulti button just yet, as he doesn't even have it available. But Peanut's still so incredibly low. There is an all out from Doran, though. It's King and just gonna crash, crush his way out of there. And no one is dead. Such a good setup for D plus because they had the Empress Divide set up that they could use defensively. Viper. There is the Empress Divide. He finally uses it into the handshake. And aiming is going to be delivered some money. All right. Well, that's a huge win here for D plus. That was such a good setup for D plus because they had red white. They had Empress Divide. They had a really nice front line there. King and Snarbar. Uh oh. Speaking of King and. Oh dear. Well, Zekka is going to look for the mini Nar once again. He's charging up towards the Mega, but. Uh, He's on about 200 health, and there he goes, not even able to get the Mega Nar. And solo kill here for Zekka, pulling ahead even further in that metric. Yeah. Get his Nar bar. It's, it's so critical to be able to punish quickly, and Showmaker did just that. Well, Doran is, speaking of punishing, is going to find Kellen, and then realizes there's no one here to do damage. Because um, uh, Yezru was a little bit far away in the mid lane. So therefore, just going to let uh, Kellen walk that one off. Aiming with a couple of items, Kraken Slayer and the Bloodthirster. The light is spotted on a ward. I imagine D-Plus has an inkling as to what's going on here, but can they actually get over is the question. Lucid does cancel the back, but can they actually get in? In time is the question, as King is going to have to flash over. But it's not even going to be possible. The Baron, it's just highway robbery here for Harm Alive Esports. And they're thinking that maybe they'll look for a fight as well as Viper. That Mystic Shot somehow weaving through and connecting onto aiming and very plus looking lost. Yeah, very short arcane shift to get him into that exact trajectory he was looking for there to hit aiming very clean. And we'll be able to take out the Sundis turret in return, but D plus did not have any close wards. They knew that it was likely happening. They didn't have full vision and they didn't have great ways to teleport both of their soul laners who were very far away. So very awkwardly do teleport them in, but it's too slow and they end up losing the Baron here, losing a turret. And Showmaker? Yeah, Zekka is just going to come on over. Showmaker has to go golden. Hostile takeover is good defensively, but the big one is massive. Bailout. Oh no, Showmaker, can he actually get a kill? Here's the question. He throws down the ulti. Doran flashing over the wall and aiming nowhere for him to go. Smashed back with a third Q. And this is looking like a shellacking wall. Yes, it's a methodical one, but Harmalife Esports are just cruising towards the first victory in this Saturday showdown. Straight up win here for Hanwha Life. Better macro, way better objective control. A classic double 80 carry Ivern Cop. The lane swap was clean. Peanuts early passing, amazing. He's six out of eight KP. And D plus get absolutely crushed. Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Actually just 1v2 and not care about this underlevel poppy. 
And that's just straight up a dragon. Yeah. Doran now uh, up here towards the top side is still losing out like you're actually going to look for it. Does press the ultimate button as there's a killer instinct from aiming. Is going to be able to prop the plasma as in goes Kellen. Viper surviving for the moment, but the Akathian rain comes down and Kellen will fall. It's a one for one, but first blood over to aiming. And I think Viper was not really this comp later on because the Rumble also didn't get massive advantages, doesn't have teleport. Speaking oh. of, yeah, Peanut gonna find the Glacial Prison. Kingen just looking to try and get himself out of here. Does have the Equalizer, puts it down. Beautiful position as Dorn is just gonna burn down. Kingen looking for more as well as Peanut's gonna take that hat. Harpoon to the back of the head and Flame Spitter takes him down. A double for the Rumble. That's why this champion has to Tom be banned. Put, you know, we, we scale up, we've got the Zero, we've got the front line, we've got the double AD carry. Now it's just like, okay, Rumble domination. Yeah, and now it's looking like Showmaker gonna find some domination as well. Connects a couple of chains. And Peanut so good. good. Um, I'm gonna have to hold the thought though, because Zekka is moving towards his bottom lane. And Kellen's going to turn up. There's the flash, the heroic charge, and Aiming is gonna be able to put this Corky down. Delight puts up the door. Aiming says, all right, not gonna fight you. But I wanna talk about this bottom lane, because the thing that's beautiful about Poppy is that, oh, never mind. Viper is just in so much trouble. The chain's going to connect the flash forward from Showmaker, but it's not quite enough. And in comes Lucid just to try and get another charge. He will be able to get it. Warrior Trickster to try and get him out of there, but the Winter's Bite will connect. The Christmas trees come up. There's a Cyclone as Lucid going to get stunned up. Some chains are going to connect here as now Kellen gets in. Another heroic charge. Aiming going to be able to pick up another kill, and it was all a cunning ruse. It was all a bait. It's a double kill for Aiming, and my God, I thought that maybe this Saturday showdown wouldn't deliver but here it is, it turns I mean, up. King gets the top turret Anything as well. Back. I mean, they can push King out of the lane. It's 7,000 gold. The Gold King. Yeah, the Gold King. Um, <laughs> he's, he's like, I'm staying in lane, I'm killing the whole turret, I ain't going mid. I'm going to kill the champions, I'm going to kill the turret, I'm going to take all the money. Remember, if he gets another one, he is the Gold King for 2024, by the way. As uh, Viper, he's probably not, as he's going to have to get out of here as best he can. Kellen's coming on over. Oh, the buckler to the back of the noggin, but he is going to be okay for the moment. Kingen wants to find... Uh, he's just uh, okay, almost survives as the Keeper's Verdict comes in. The rest of D-plus making their way over. Killer Instinct gets aiming in there. And yes, the rumble goes down, but that's a great knockup. So never mind, it is just a one-for-one -one in the end. What a fantastic game here from D-Plus. They're pushing Flying through. Up. There isn't any follow-up just yet. Shoemaker already used his ult, so can't actually come over here very quickly, but he still shows up. Yep. We're going to have a look at this fight. Or, uh, okay, Viper actually not able to be killed, but Shoemaker gets back to the distortion and will survive. At least, you know, just barely. Only 40 health remaining. As aiming is just going to solo kill the Braum. I think that was a Void Seeker landing problem. And now he's going to look for Peanut. That Void Seeker did not land, and so he is going to back away. And I don't actually think it was. I think uh, Kazaming didn't have Killer Instinct. So never mind. Uh, that's just a dead delight. Just saying, Atlas, yeah. our, our assessment of D, plus, you know, when they play their style, I like know. The when they play, <laughs> the, it wasn't yeah. like a, he got caught by it. He, um, I just wanted to give myself a bit of a technically right sure. uh, for that one, uh, but Baron, it's not what I was uh, thinking happened at all. On spawn, Showmaker's holding the door. He makes oh, it. Oh yeah, Glacier Prison going to come down. Keep his verdict is that uh, Peanut is not allowed in here, but Showmaker might be taken down. He's trying to distort his way out of there. Viper is able to help take him down, but the Baron is the trade. And I think that if you were going to check the, you know, the the, the the receipts at the end, that's probably working out for D plus. Yeah, uh, well, Shoemaker's died now, so surely, surely he'll get a Magi soon, right? <laughs> you know, you very he's died, it's, it's, in it, this Magi. Come on, he's got it's one of those games. Like, Shoemaker, don't let me down. He's if only not... it's still built out of an amp term, then he could just build yeah. it now. But it's, uh, it's, He needs a little bit more money before he can actually purchase that. He is going to get punished here, but as you say, with Kellen coming in, tossing out the ult, there's just no one who can get anywhere close to the Baron. Shoemaker, I don't want to say he almost gets out there, but he certainly buys plenty of time as over here. All right, some bounty gold going yeah. on over to Hummel Life Esports, as that means that the Baron power play is going to be negative, but that might be changing pretty soon as Showmaker's teleported in. Doran is teleporting out via the Death Chamber. Um, and D-plus now with a 5v4 scenario should be able to amplify their Baron power play relatively well. Yeah, he... Uh, that's also a negative, let's say. Um, negative Baron power play going back to the positive, and uh, Doran yeah. 
dying there. People say it's a negative uh, for Humble Life. We're still looking at the receipts, you know, we're still doing some accounting on this game as... Man, like, Shoemaker's LeBlanc has the most main character energy ever. As we're going to go into this team fight, Delight is going to get taken down pretty quickly here. Shoemaker just needs another couple of spells, but never mind. Delight will survive. And, oh, no. <laughs> Voitika is actually going to be the thing that kills him this time. Justice for Atlas wanting to know how people die this game because there's just so much Atlas. Uh, Atlas? There's so much action all over the map. It's breaking my brain wall. There's a lot of Atlas because when there's a lot of action, you got to play by play it. That is true. Right. I might have to do it again yeah. here as uh, Zeka trying to get some damage down does throw out the Fast Bomb. And D plus, I um, think, just then the naming has in this game. He has more minions killed than the Shomik. He's, he's CSing, but he is not getting any kills. He's sitting on two items right now. Aiming is on three and a half. He has a ton of money, and the burst potential is just so real that Doran, he just doesn't have a prayer. Even though he's Cassante, he's sitting on two items, he's got Merc Treads, he just doesn't live very long. Well, Equalizer is going to deny this push, so Armalife Esports is not going to be able to find this inner turret, as the Drake is going to be secured here by D+. Cloud Soul. Feels fantastic. Haven't actually spoken about it just yet. The other thing about this ba Baron power play being so low, is there's just not a lot of stuff to kill. They kind of killed it already. There's yeah, not a lot of suffering from yet. success a yeah. little bit here as Aiming is going to find a Void Seeker. Peanut says top of the morning to you, and then he's going to die. Uh, aiming going to get his ninth. He's really uh, aiming for the 1,500 kills, you know? Um, I think actually know well. where we're at. And Cathy and Rain, pretty scary. And the more this plasma stacks up, the more dangerous it gets. As Harpoon, even that, is looking a bit scary. As Shomaker diving forward. Oh, Kellen just takes that prison to the noggin, but he's still able to keep them on this equalizer for quite some time. Cyclone comes in, and now Kingen is just flashing for Viper. They take down Delight to start this one off. Doran is limping into his jungle. Zeka going to be taken down by Lucid. Nimbus Strike's going to sort that one out. Peanut is flashing away, and Shomaker is searching for Viper, wanting to kill him just one more time in this game. He is definitely a very slippery champion. So that's yeah. going to be a tough one as he does manage to at least tag in there with that burst fire. But there goes the Zeri and there goes game number two and we get a decider in today's Saturday showdown. An absolutely fantastic one. This, remember guys, this is for second place for all intents and purposes. D plus, they managed to do it last time around. They're seeing whether they can do it again. Game one wasn't close. Neither was game two, but we're still going to a game number three. It's absolutely fantastic. Bit of fun here on the Nexus as the Equalizer is going to come down one more time. They can kill this if they would like to, but they want to get more kills for aiming. 10, 0, and 2 now on this Kaiser as now they're going to back away because respawns have come in. Uh, okay, let's see what we can actually find here as Lucid's on about 10 health. Burning, burning. There's a Cyclone to try and stop it. It's Killer Instinct into the back line and aiming just kills everyone. It's the triple, and I guess it was a bait all along. I, I don't know. <laughs> 13 kills for the Kaisa. The Gold King will take out the Nexus, and we're going to a third one. You best believe he's taking this kill as well, and there it is. Four Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Synergy, you love to see it, as Kellen on vision right now. And Peanut is here as well. It is four people from Harmalife Esports in this area. Lucid now going to be set up. The three versus two in this isolated scenario as they do manage to get. Oh, the heroic charge is so good. That is first blood going over to Kellen. And now it is a two versus two. Jace is going to be here a little bit late though. And Zeka gets the roam over. Now Lucid trying to turn it to light. Flashes away and it's a one for one trade in the end. Kill going over to the Tristana here versus going over to the Poppy. Definitely a trade up even with the first blood. Going to debuff. Starting his back just to make sure that he's here to try and protect Lucid if possible. And he is going to be able to secure it there. And we'll be able to take down the Rift Scuttle. So, a couple of grubs going on over. We've got a little bit of a fight here towards the bottom side as well. Shield of Daybreak comes in as Viper looking to try and chase after the Poppy. He does so. Can Aiming get the kill back? Killer Instinct comes in. One more auto will do it. There he finally finds it. And now looking to try and take down Delight as well. But the Leona is pretty scary. Super Charger, there it is, and it's a double for aiming. Oh dear. And I'm alive, Esports fans should be worried. It's not the first time. I, I mean, it's just right below his hitbox there, and then he has Meganar, and they cannot reach him. Yeah, and Shomik is now in trouble as well. Buster Shot's going to come on through, and yeah, the Nature's Grasp, not even necessary. It's just a parade of cats for fun here. 
from Hummer Life Esports. And look, fans just, it's another day in the office here. It's frustrated that the wave was actually pulled. Yeah. Still, D Plus gonna finally uh, get some free time to take down this dragon. Very late first dragon here at 1230. That's totally still fine. It's still a huge win for Hanwha Life, but Kellen is really making a case as a counter pick to Leona. Yep, well, there's a Glacial Prison. This one's going to hit, but Delight, he has Eclipse. Uh, it is going to wear off, though, so he's going to die. Aiming collects his third killing spree for the Kaiser. But are they going to be able to get anything off the back end of the play? This turret is likely to fall down. Uh, on the bottom side, yeah, Shomik is going to be able to secure it there. Does sacrifice a bit of his health bar, but the Rift Herald does come down, and that's looking to break open this outer turret in mid lane. Big tempo swing if they do manage to take it down, but it is just going to be uh, put down to very, very low health. So only yeah. a little bit of free time. And Zekka, speaking of free time, is here in the top lane. He should be able to, after denying a significant amount of farm, just killing these minions, take this turret down. So despite not getting the full turret in mid lane, they are able to trade top and bottom turrets here. But it went over first. Oh. Showmaker. Yeah, Kellen moving in, aiming, actually going to have to flash out of that play, keep his verdict to try and keep Delight interested in this play as Viper does have to flash, gets himself out of the way of that one. The Shock Blast is going to connect, almost the last hit with the Glacial Prison, and it is the Winter's Wrath that's able to lock down the Leona now. Zekka is rocket jumping in, Lucid just going to stand his ground, and the AoE bit damage is just gigantic! Kellen tries to get Viper out of that fight. He almost picks up the kill, actually, as Kingen looking for Zekka. He flashes over. He is indeed a ruthless predator and will be able to take down the Tristana. And somehow the kill goes to aiming. The, I mean, the, the fight there is on a knife's head showmaker. Yeah, Killer Instinct comes in, and that's a fed Kaiser for you. Sets it up. And he's going to knock him down. Doran here, a little bit late to the party, turning up like Donald Glover. Life Esports still has a whole bunch of money. A Tristana, a Zeri, and they are pushing on an inner turret. And you can tell exactly why D-Plus are trying to defend this. Lucid going to be coming in. The Nature's Grass comes down. Doran is really, really dead, but they get the Crocodile as well. Two top laners, both lying on the ground, as now D-Plus are going to chase out Hummer from this play. They weren't able to take down the turret. And Kellen looking for an angle. Delight moving forward might be a mistake. There is a heroic charge. Does push him towards the wall, but not into it. And Kellen's going to be punished. That's going to be the kill. And it's in fact Delight that grabs it. Some yeah. support combat victory. It's a two for one here for Hanwha Life, but just constantly putting that pressure so you on kill these her eventually. But if she's not, um, that's a problem. It's a Gold King once again, by the way. Aiming yes. at the top. Aiming is likely to win another reward. And they're going to uh, we'll go over and take this top turret, he and Showmaker, so he gets more gold. He is very large. He is going to have that Nasher's Tooth pretty soon. If he's not going to buy it on this back, he's got to be very close. Oh, my God. Maybe they lost a game so that Aiming could have more time to make more gold and get more kills to hit 1,500. You know, maybe. That's crazy. Um, that's a conspiracy. I'm going to take off the tinfoil hat and go back to the commentary as Inner Turret is going to fall down, and D-Plus still find themselves on the back foot. So aiming has so much money, they can actually solo this dragon so quickly while they continue to contest Baron. Oh, Lucid, gonna get caught out of position here. Three members, but that's a clean flash. That gets him out. Still, does mean that flash has to be burned. Hummel Life Esports going to accept that one, oh. only investing the Ignite and the Solar Flare. Uh, no Maokai ult. In this draft, it's such a tough call to make, and. They're a little bit indecisive, but there's no punish here from Hanwha just yet. Zekka may be in danger. Yeah, uh, the Glacial Prison does go wide, but Zekka is jumping the wrong direction. That's a Killer Instinct, and that is a dead Tristana. Side lane pick comes in. A dangerous one, because they're moving, Gonna aiming to the... this one up. And aiming will have to back off the Dragon. Let's see whether D-Plus can dissuade them from completing this, as there is vision up and available. Lucid gonna go in, look for a 50-50, and there oh. he is! The Keeper's Verdict gets the jungler out of there. Kellen tries to relieve them of any sort of re-engage, but Kingen now finds himself in a very unfortunate position. He is still just slicing and dicing, acting all cool, but he is still going to be put down. That is going to be Zekka locking that one up, and D-Plus are going to also claim themselves a Ocean Drake. That is going to be secured as well. So the Baron and everything else, and man, the Poppy, it only has to do like a couple of things, and it looks like a game-breaking pick. No, oh, no, it's so huge here. I mean, it's it's saving the play here for D+. They're able to take the Baron, yes, with some losses. But it's trying to do everything that they can to start some sort of fight, uh, it's and both teams just say no. Thorin 
Getting closer to Anar, but very far forward. Yeah, Doran actually going to get engaged on here just a little bit. Kellen going to be the one punished for it, though. And Viper, he collects that kill. And now is it the Zeri moment? Have we waited 32 minutes for it? We have indeed. It's a double. Kingen wasn't even there. He's just in this mid lane trying to tidy up some turrets. Yeah, I, okay, it's all eight. Also a little bit exposed here, but he, I don't think he can follow up on that. That's way too risky. Even with his cleanse available, Showmaker's going to take a shot at him. We'll miss. Um, they don't have Baron buff anymore, but Kingen still gets a Actually lot of pressure. just taking so much damage. I think that was a sapling and an extendo beam from Viper, who I think has just put his Infinity Edge together as well. That's a powerful one. It's, oh dear, I don't know about that one, Delight, as he goes way too far, but Keeper's Verdict gets him out of there, and Viper is just by himself! Oh my goodness, these Poppy ults have been absolutely gigantic. Still, Life Esports on this Dragon. And Blake. the health bars are getting lower and lower. Showmaker, the one that can sort of stand up front as Peanut's able to lock this one down despite the fact that they lost their main character, they're still able to do it. Yeah, delight. Map control here. Yeah, and that should mean that D-plus can just stand here and take it. Keeper's Verdict isn't up and available though, so there is a 50-50 opportunity. Peanut getting towards the pit, but it is going to be the Baron going down. Can they win the team fight though is the question. And it's Kellen, the first one to explode. Killer Instinct into the back line is aiming, trying to get it done. There goes Zekker. It's a double for Doran though, and he's trying to get it some work done, but it's just not working. Because aiming is just too big on this Kai'Sa. Doran with double buffs. Can be an angle with the Kai'Sa having death cap and the Zephyr as well. Like, he is full, 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 full. full. Now, Hama Life Esports finding themselves some time with this dragon. Oh, could we have a seven elementala? That could be pretty fun. There we go. That's at least six. Is this fight going to work out, though? Is Delight already down so incredibly low? Void Seeker, they're all, all of them, so incredibly dangerous. Shock Blast now connecting. Doran on the side as Kingen is now looking for an opportunity. Keeper's Verdict not going to be in range of anything at all as Lucid still just corralling as best he can. Hanwha, they're just going to get out though. Yeah, looks like they do get out, but trying to engage here could be a, a bit of a disaster. Yeah, wanting to be able to get themselves a red buff here as well as Viper has just thrown down the ulti. Kellen finds himself on the wrong side of the fight. The slows are massive from these saplings. Extendo Beam's going to get so many flashes, and the boomerang's going to connect from Doran. Showmaker, will he be able to keep himself alive? The answer is no, because Viper is flashing after him, and there's only 50 seconds left on this Baron. Uh, and Showmaker's not going to be alive for it. His teleport will be back up, but he is going to have to go in instantly. This is the there. Cough. Is it your cough or is it me? And now they're on the Baron. It's getting taken down very, very low. Uh, Remember STP? Yeah, we have to be very careful of Kellen, who now has his ulti interrupted. There is the Baron going over to Hummer Life Esports. That's going to be their first of the game. But now the flank angle from King, and can he find Viper? Is the question. The answer is yes, and Aiming's going to be able to execute him. Now they're looking for more. Zekra is still an AD carry in this fight, but he's pushed away. Delight going to be punished as well. And D plus Kia in the clutch. They find the pick they were looking for. The Baron still goes the over. They stack some waves. They should be able to, if they group, actually get at least one, but kind of playing it real slow here. Very respectful. And this is going to allow D plus to group up here and try to offer back some of their own poke. Yeah, the uh, Shock Blast starting to land. Edge of Night here from Showmaker to keep him safe as he steps forward. Blank from Kingen. Yeah, on a control ward here as well. Peanut senses it as there's a Glacial Prison. Delight goes in a little bit split. On the call here for Hummer Life Esports and Kingen now just going to walk over a sapling. Hummer Life just staying grouped though, wanting to make sure that they don't make any sort of positional mistakes. Any mistake. And the game could just be oh, over. Absolutely. And, and Viper doesn't have cleanse, so he really needs to respect this Renekton flank, but they just kind of kite back towards Kingen, prevent him from getting into the angle. Now with no vision here, they can actually hard commit to at least pushing and threatening these Nexus turrets. Zekka's here and slow yeah, backs here for B+. Two 80 carries. Yeah, I mean, like, if they get any time at all, these just explode. You can see it's already dead. It was just looked at, considered for a moment or two, as there is two missing from this fight. Now Doran and Delight out of position. Viper trying to be the hero, but I think Doran's going to go down. That's another one for aiming, but in goes Delight. They find the kill under Showmaker. Can King and get any CC down? The answer is not quite yet. As Killer Instinct, there's the 1v1 between the 280 carries. Viper's down to his GA. And Zekka, he's going to be eliminated as well. Aiming goes into his Zonyas, but then he's taken out from Viper. the grave as Viper, Viper is still alive. 
and he's able to get the double, and how will I be sports against everything are going to be able to take the series over D+. The high value. These were the best highlights from today's LCK matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.